wanted to give God a hand clap. Really, God, I appreciate you. We are back in the house of God. Hallelujah. Here you are. Here. Enjoy the social media that we have. Yes, sir. For the church. But there ain't nothing like being in the house of God. Amen, Elder. When, when, when I come in the house, it's just a special treat to me. Amen, sir. To be with the brethren. We're going to be coming from the book of Isaiah, the 55th chapter, the first through the third verse. Mm -hmm. I want to sing a verse of song, if you don't mind. Perhaps maybe you might know the song, sing along with me. But I just want to give God the praise. Sing me running in my heart, ringing in my heart. Mm -hmm. Quite most of the week. God, I appreciate you. <laughs> Dear old oh my God, to thee, near old to thee, near old oh my God, to thee, near Church. And personally, I 
want to get to know all of you firsthand. I, I, I usually stand around and try to hold Pastor's hand and shake it and say a few words and tell him how much I enjoyed the message, but at the end of the message, it's on Sunday now, I kind of ease on. I had my day, so I just get out the way now, and that's how the new members get to it. Uh -huh, I don't get in that way, but anyhow, I love the Lord, and we're going to be going forward now from Isaiah 55 to 1. Not going to be very long before you, we're just going to get right to the point, and we're going to hope that uh, it will somehow bless your heart as we give what the Lord has given unto me. Amen. We're going to use for a subject a universal invitation. Okay. This invitation has been offered to all and no one is rejected. Uh -huh. Isaiah 55 and 1, the first verse it goes, Whoa! Oh, everyone that thirsts, come ye to the water. Uh -huh. He that had no money, come ye by and eat. Yeah, come by. Wine and milk without money and without cost. Verse 2 says, Wherefore do you spend money? Mm -hmm. For that that is not bread and your labor for that which satisfies not. Hope and diligently unto me. Eat that which is good. And let your soul delight in fatness. Amen. Verse 3 Incline your ear. Come unto me here, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for the opportunity to come before this great congregation represent you. And Lord God, I ask you, O oh God, that you will forgive us. Our debt, O oh God, any sin or thing that we have done that should not have done anything that we didn't do. That you would that we have done. We ask for forgiveness this afternoon. We won't want to come before you, O oh God. Try to hide anything because we know that he didn't hide or cover. His sin shall not prosper. Amen. We want to prosper this evening, Lord. Cause our ears to be open that we might hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Allows us, O oh God, to apply this word that you have given unto us to our lives. And let it cause us to grow thereby. And we ask this in the body and in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now the word in our first verse, praise God. I ask you, you can give him a first yeah. The first word is oh. Oh. Uh-huh. Now, now, this imagery, uh, reading this, called me to see or to look at this as, as a setting of a marketplace. Okay. Where the merchant is crying out with a loud voice trying to draw the attention of the people to his merchandise. Okay. Trying to back a little picture for us here. Uh-huh. To us today, oh, would be, hey, okay. it would be the same as saying, may I have your attention, please? It's, okay. He's trying to get somebody's attention. Okay. It is this idea is more fair, metaphorically, mm -hmm. speaking about two kinds of people. We won't be before you very long, so. If you will, let me have your undivided attention with just a little bit. And I believe that it will bless your heart. God has given me a thought. I feel pretty good about it. So then, metaphorically speaking, about two kinds of people, both groups now are thirsty and hungry. Uh -huh. One group is thirsty and broke. Okay. The other group is thirsty and he has money, but he's spending his money in the wrong places trying to buy satisfaction. Okay, good, good. We also see in uh, our listening the futility of buying 
or temporal problems and expecting an eternal result. Mm -hmm. The water, the bread, the wine, the milk, and our lesson is an invitation to a personal relationship with God. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Now, if you got uh, Bible scholars, you may uh, look at this and you will see that Israel was in Babylon, captivity, Isaiah had gone down and, and began to prophesy to them. They were at their lowest point in, uh, in life, but they had been there 70 years, Amen. and they were about to be released, and, and God had sent the prophet down to, to, to prophesy to them. And you will be able to see a lot about what it is that he had prophesied concerning them, and and one of the things that stood out to me, before I go right back to where God needed me, the thing that stood out to me is how that he had told the Israelites that, and I think about the sixth verse, or on down the way, a little ways there, and he had told them how that people will flock to them. They will see them, and they will be so blessed mm. that the people and the nations around them, they, 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 they will flock. To them. Now you see, not to receive a prophecy like that while you are in the midst of a situation like the one that they were in, it would be kind of hard to believe that such a thing could take place. Mm -hmm. You can also put that apply to your own personal life if you have not come or surrendered your life to Christ yet. You, a person might say something like that to you and it expressed a how people would admire your life and in Christ and, and you would kind of find it hard to see how this thing could be. Uh -huh. God got a way of changing lives. Yes, he does. God got a way of changing lives to, to the degree that is beyond your imagination. Right. I believe that if we surrender our lives to Christ, that God can do a work in us that will cause us not to appear or look like the person that we once was. That's right. People can look at you and they'll be able to see that Satan will say, you just don't appear to be the person. You can give your testimony. They find it hard to believe that you could have been such a person. Uh -huh. uh, just can't hardly see that. You're right. such a kind person now, a loving person now, and a straightforward person now. And, and, and to say that you were such a crook. Yeah. To say that you were such a, a drunkard, or whatever it might be that your thing was, that people would find it hard to believe. I don't mind giving my testimony. I tell people about the thing, the man that I once was, and sometimes people can't see. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people just go out there, go, I find it hard to believe. But for those who know my life, know my history, who know my past, well, their hearts are encouraged, some yeah, of them. Right. Because they tell me, Brother William, if God can save you, I know he can save me. Now, when they said something like that, then they called me to look at my own self and look at my own life. And I said, God, now you know what? I, I thought I was pretty good, you know. I, I didn't really think that I was that bad, you know, not, not that bad. But, but yeah, a life outside of Christ is that bad. Yeah, amen, it's subject to do anything, amen. say anything, act any kind of way. But when we receive Christ as Lord of our lives, God makes a change. He yes, empowers does. us yes, to make a turn, a change. Yes, he empowers us to, yes, to, 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 to arrest that spirit that yes, working yeah. down inside. Right. I thank God for the power this week. Yes, yes. Let, let, let somebody help me say it. I thank God for the power. Thank God for the power. Lord, I thank you for the power. Okay, so now we see here in our lesson the water, the bread, the wine, and the milk in our lesson is an invitation to a personal relationship with God. Mm -hmm. The expression come by and eat without cost 
is an indication that this relationship is being offered absolutely free. That's right. Now the first group of people represented as a people who has a need but have no money, as I've already said. People who are living in poverty, having no resources, mm -hmm. having needs that they cannot meet. A people who are lowly esteemed by other people. Okay. Meaning that people that they talk about you, they, yeah. they, they just down talk on. down. Uh -huh. So then the lonely esteem people are the social outcast, the thugs, the, the drunkard, the, the dope man, the prostitute. Isaiah saying in this invitation to this people, come without money and without price. What an invitation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, 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 and the second group. Mm -hmm. The second group of people have money. They seem to be self-sufficient. These people buy everything that the world seems to have to offer. Right. Only to find that their possessions mm -hmm. offers only temporary That's right. uh -huh, satisfaction. Mm -hmm. I feel as this group of persons. Uh -huh. That is the second verse. He asked this group of people. Yes. A question. He said, Why well, spend your money for that which is not bread? Okay. Mm -hmm. Why do you labor for that which does not satisfy? We want to say this right here before we go any further. We are not talking here or teaching. This evening, in that particular verse of scripture, why do you spend money for that, that which is not bread, and labor for that which does not satisfy? We're not talking about that person that got money and who buys things, nice things for itself. Mm -hmm. We don't want to wrong Okay. You see, the thing with all deals is that it's God's will that you prosper and be in good health. That's right, Chris. It is God who make it rich and, and add no, no sorrow. That's right. Uh -huh. So we're not saying that it, 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 it's, it's a bad thing to uh, have nice things and to have possession, but, but we are all saying that it is only God can satisfy the craving of a thirsty soul. That's right. right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you see, you see, you see, Things cannot satisfy that hunger that we have God inside our soul. That's right. It, it hungers and, and thirst at the righteousness. It, 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 I believe it's what the scripture said, like, like the rivers of the uh, uh, high sins are panted after thee. That's right. My soul is, is desiring yes, to be reunited. With the Creator. Yeah. And we can run through life and we can buy things, new cars, new houses, and, and degrees, and, 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 and new friends, uh, male or female friends, whatever the case might be. We married and, and new marriages, and, and we're still seeking for that thing that only God can give. Amen. Mm -hmm. so, 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 so you see, first of all, we got to get our priorities in order. So God is offering an invitation this afternoon, and this invitation that he is, is offered is universal and is offered to everyone. To everyone. Uh -huh. God is no respected person. That's right. Uh -huh. You see, now, if you leave it up to us, some of us, because of who you are, or where you live, or your job that you have, who you know, yes, sir. side of town you live on, and all such sort of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we find ourselves having respect to person. Yeah. Uh -huh. But God is not such a person. Amen. Uh -huh. God is a whosoever God. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. 
Now we see here that in verse 3 says, And incline your ear and come to me. Mm -hmm. here, and here and your soul shall live, and I will make the everlasting covenant with you. Mm -hmm. Now, when we look back at verse 1, we were able to see the invitation that Isaiah was offering. He said, come, mind you, that Isaiah is not offering the invitation for himself, but he represented God. Amen. So he said, come to the water. Mm -hmm. He said, come by bread. Wine and eat. Yes, sir. Milk, wine and milk and eat. Well, you see, now we'll see in the third verse, he said, Come unto me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. So now, this right here tells me to believe that the one who offered the water, the wine, and the milk is a reference to God Himself. I believe so, Richard. Jesus Christ is the living water. Yes, he is. He, 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 he is the bread of life. Yes, he yeah. is. Uh-huh. He, 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 he's that sincere milk of the word. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He, he, he's the joy of our salvation. That's right. And, and in the third verse, he says, come, come unto me. Yeah. Here and your soul shall live. Shall live. Uh -huh. So you see, you got to come to Jesus. That's right. If you're thirsty, you got to come. Yes, sir. Uh huh. If you want that 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 to be quenched, that thirst to be quenched. Yes, sir. You got to come. Amen. Uh huh. Now John said there, God so loved the world that John three sixteen. Mm -hmm. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believe shall not perish. That's right. But have the everlasting life. Yes, sir. God wants to give life. Uh-huh. Everlasting. And he wants to make a covenant with you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So then God promises that. Whosoever believe shall not perish. That's right. Whosoever believe, I will give that person eternal life. Right. That's the covenant. That's the covenant, Christian. God's part of the covenant. See, a covenant Come is on. an agreement between two people. Yeah. Right. God's part of the covenant is. If you believe his part of the covenant is to give life. Yes, sir. Your part of the covenant is to believe. Right. So then the covenant is life to the believer. Life to the believer. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so then uh, the covenant of life is offered without price. That's right. And without money. That's right. Jesus Christ is the gift that God offers freely. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Only Jesus Christ yeah. is satisfied a thirsty soul. That's right. Now, as I close, I told you it wouldn't be long. <laughs> if you don't know Jesus, yeah. the pardon of your sin, I urge you to accept this invitation. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And enjoy the abundant life that your heart has been thirsting for. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. If you don't know God, in the bottom of your soul, your sin, yes, sir. you need to accept this invitation. Yeah. This invitation is a free gift of God. Accept the grace, the free grace of God. Accept the gift of God. Jesus Christ 
in the gift of God and is offered to us freely. All we have to do that we obtain this is to believe. It is faith through grace. Yes, sir. Through the precious blood, yes, shed blood mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. The life, I love what the pastor always say, when you say believing in Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. it's the whole package. The whole thing. Yes, you have to take the whole thing, believe yes, the whole thing, believe in the virgin birth, believe in his life, believe in his death, believe in his resurrection, yes, believe in the whole it's the whole thing. Believe in all of the work that Jesus has done. I thank God for how that this work and what Jesus has done has made available that we might be able to see Jesus. God, God is the merchant that we spoke of in the first verse who is trying to get the attention of the people. And he's trying to bring us to the understanding of the merchandise at which he is offering. Yes, sir. And he is offering salvation through Jesus Christ by faith. Yes. And if you have not received him, let go of your life. And I urge you to receive the gift that he has offered or is offering. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I've given thee the word in which you have inspired me to give. I pray, O oh God, like the water that you send, the rain, and it waters the earth, O oh God, I ask you that you call this word, O oh God, to accomplish that of which it has been sent out in this Lord. And we ask this in the mighty and in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you.